Hello guys, Les Can here. Today I am going to talk about how to edit an MV like Xenos in DaVinci Resolve and I am gonna remake Xenos's Cup of Life edit step by step so that we can learn some of his techniques and also how to do those in DaVinci Resolve. But before that I hope you know the basics of DaVinci Resolve so let's continue. So first you have to collect all the clips and I have collected all these clips and placed them in our timeline. And I have also downloaded Xenos's edit, so that I can use that as reference. So how do we use that as reference? First right click on the clip you want to use as reference. Here we are using Xenos's original edit as reference. Then click on create new multicam clip. Click create, then drag drop the multicam clip on timeline. We will use the Xenos's music for our edit. Now drag that multicam clip to track 5 or so, so that it won't bother us then we can disable that track. But before that, Close the inspector tab and select multicam in the left window. If the left window not showing you can check that here. So I have not disabled the track so it is also showing on right window. Let us disable that real quick. Now click on fusion page so that we can match the color grade with Xenos. Let me tell you a trick. Click on fast noise and chose color. Here blue. Then the merge node and chose the blend mode color burn and here we go. Decrease the gain a little. Then play around with the values. Again go to Fusion so that we can create those black bars. Drag the background, then Rectangle Mask, connect those then Merge. On Rectangle, click Invert, then choose the height and here we go. Let's add those texts. Go to Fusion again, add text, correct the size. Then place it over the black bar, adjust a little. Choose the font you like. Now after adjusting click on text, copy by Ctrl C then paste Ctrl V, merge both text. Choose a different color on new text. Now check where the voice start. Cut for that sentence. Go to Fusion, now we are going to identify where the line starts then return to Fusion. Click on copied text, and write on decrease the value. Click on the keyframe. Then check where the sentence ending ang increase the value. Now we get this amazing write on effect. <laughs> Now let's perfect this by adding some fade on and fade out like this using blending option and keyframing. I'm 
Now repeat the same and our intro is completed. So this was the trailer, and the real stuff is after this which we will cover in the next video till then, bye bye.